Hello everybody, welcome to Tentalica, game number 30, I I believe. I actually believe that's correct. Now this is interesting, isn't it? He's he's not bad it's not a bad record really. Um he hasn't improved his stadium. He's got a blodge white, he's got an agility five werewolf, blodge step, and a blodge tackle strength four werewolf. Holy shit. Very good wears. Some guard, some block, only 13 players. Um, dirty player, wrestle zombie, same as my guy. Only movement five, white. I don't think it's th that scary, even though he's 18. Even though he's more TV, I don't think I want to buy a wizard. I think I'll just buy a babe for 30k. And um, But these are huge, aren't they? These two wolves, holy shit. I really want to claw upon them. <laughs> At least they don't have Mighty Blow, though. He's got no Mighty Blow at all on the team, so he should be a little bit softer. And, um, but they're very nice wolves, aren't they? Agility 5, Blood Step. And he could get Leap at, at the last one, couldn't he? I don't know. I think it, I would, I would, he went sidestep before Dodge. Imagine if he'd gone Agility 4, Block, Dodge, Agility 5, Leap. That would be better, yeah, I think, absolutely. than sidestep. Um, I'll just get the babe. I'm not going to buy a wizard. Should be enough. Um, no, I forgot to show my team. Right, but I'm out now, and I shall leave you with Fashbinder. And um, yes, thank you, and I will concentrate. <laughs> Juice. Oh, baby. I, mean, I don't know, Carlo reckons no side has a style. I think he just does random stuff. Snipe to me twice in the one of the... Uh, and then promptly conceded twice uh, after I banged on him. And then uh, we had one match in the Cripple Cup and he conceded that when I banged on him. I am unimpressed. I'm Jimmy's leader now, his uh, manager. So uh, I'm in charge of what he does and who he's allowed to talk to, which girls he's allowed to date. So if anything, I've upgraded to uh, to a higher level, a level beyond the Super Saiyan, or as I like to call it, Super Saiyan 2. And this is to go even further beyond the Super Saiyan. Yeah, look, absolutely. When you get a bunch of stat freaks, it's all on one guy. And so, look, the one Agi Five Wolf is going to be holding the ball, and that's a 250 TV ball carrier that ideally isn't being hit. Yeah, look, it'll be great for one turners. Yeah, it'll be great for clutch recovery, and uh, you know, just doing any shenanigans if the ball's on the ground. But if Jim plays probably a ball, which he will, uh, he'll make a nice uh, uh, Venga bus cage, and the wolf then won't really matter. Yeah, it's too late, matter. One day, maybe tomorrow, the day after, or the day after that, I will, I will go Super Saiyan 3 for you. And yeah, look, edgy short hands. Sorry, uh, Strength 4. Uh, sure hands ball carrier. Not that sure hands is relevant, but just to point it out, is not going to be too scared of the wolf. I guess the real advantage of the edgy five wolf is that it can dodge into Vangabus cages and red die into two die uh, with good guard placement or even just assist placement on fairly low dice. But as Jim pointed out, he should have gotten sidestep. Absolute madness not to. And then once he said, right, I've got Agi 5, I don't really need sidestep anymore, I'll get Leap. It would have been the most terrifying wolf you'll ever see. And that really indicates the advantage of a 4 strength ball carrier. As much as you don't want your 4 strength being the ball carrier, and that it's better off doing useful things, Chaos Warrior being a ball carrier, or your Saurus being a ball carrier, 
in those instances, it isn't bad. As for 10 games of Blood Bowl today, I don't know. I think uh, when you've got a star player like Brett Favre, Peyton Manning or Clayton Manning or Richard Manning or Stephen Manning. Uh, you don't want to overwork them. Got to keep them fresh. Uh, it's your normal YouTube cave, but split it in half and add an extra man behind where the ball carrier is. And that'll stop a... So you've got two guys that can't be uh, marked. So any leap or dodge through the cage will be red dice. I'm sure Jimmy will do it first or second turn, maybe. Because he's not really able to he won't really be able to screen out the eight move wolves, and I'll point it out. I, I limit him to six cups. So approximately one every two hours. Caffeine addiction can in, uh, inhibit a star's performance. Man. I do want a little more ball protection as well as pylon protection. So, yeah, that warrior maybe could have moved. Nah, it doesn't matter. Oh, wow. I guess there was a free roll. Like, it's an amazing tempo play. Wow, I can't believe he stood firm. That's your pylon in relative safety. I mean, it's not safe in that the zombie still gets a bit safe, but it's a lot better of a position than being adjacent to the ghoul. Uh, similarly, there is a necro from Dirty Player, which appears to be coincidentally a Dirty Player zombie and a two man bench. Oh yeah, but they he uses a British measuring system. He calls them pints or something, and nobody knows what a pint is. Much like a foot or a yard, these fictional measurements no one can really be sure of. Like he buys things using measurements of weight, which I think is really odd. It blows my mind every time. Oh man, bringing in assists for a full strength uh, blitz. No, oh, that's another thing that we we're going to pick on Red Joker. One time, maybe even two times, brought in an assist for a full strength blitz on three strength player. What do you mean? We only use metric here. I mean, metric is the only form of... I don't ever think there's been a definitive form of measurement that isn't metric. Everything else has just been vague estimations based on the length of various body, body parts. 
Like how far is that? It's about two feet. Oh yeah, I've got two feet. I don't know how far that is. No, truly, I'm I'm not in my twenties, and I never learnt the imperial system. I think that's what it's called. I only like metric. And I went to a private school. <laughs> so it's not some, and, and it wasn't in, it was in a city, capital city, so it's definitely not some backwater thing. Wow, well, given the two die to the uh, sidestep wolf, I guess the two die, uh, the, the gift that was given the sidestep wolf uh, was lodged, so it did need the power. It, absolute insanity to give. But if we look at what it could have stopped, maybe it could have chained to free the Pommer to be able to make a block. Could bring an assist to one deity flushy with the pommel. But I don't think he's getting two with that pommel. Which, is, which might not even be bad, also. Uh, three plus, he'd be forced to re-roll him. So no, we're so It would be sub optimal blood roll. But if you really thought you needed the pommel blitz, three plus to pom and edge of five blob step werewolf. Maybe temple? Happening. Oh, you cunt. He very rolled on turn one. Oh, Grady on turn two. That's uh, six dice this Bodger survived, uh, two of which had tackle. <laughs> yeah. And mind you, you know, Jimmy's chat, I'm trying to. Uh... Well, it wasn't really. It, it was easy. <laughs> I don't know. If I said mean things, don't take it personally. Oh, get banged on. Get absolutely banged on. How dare you make six dice and not get a success. Two fifty-five percent and a thirty-three percent feels so bad. On a block that he gave for free. It was a nosedive play, absolutely. Okay, I've made the mistake of looking at chat, but seeing as that was a controversial play, right? I couldn't make a blitz with mm -hmm. my claw palm. If I don't stand him up, I get fouled by this dirty player because I didn't make I didn't make powers here. I made both downs here, so I couldn't tag him yeah. first with a warrior. So I, I couldn't stay lying down to get fouled with a plus three foul. Had to dodge out. I had to hit the wolf because he was there. On the other hand, with not power, I had to reroll not powering him because I'm getting surfed. If I stay where I was, I get surfed there, hundred percent. He can easily blitz with a flesh golem and push him and then surf him out. It was so it was guaranteed surf out. Had to make the dodge and just brutally, brutally punished. Yeah, I thought you played it all pretty decent, to be honest, Red Joker. Um, but yeah, I shouldn't have looked at chat there. But you know that. <laughs> to be fair, that was. Um, yeah, it was. It. I don't want to say it tilts me. <laughs> but yeah, it's. Um, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit sad. Distressing. Quietly. I was pretty sad. I didn't. I didn't have a lot of options there. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have piled on the. My initial plan was to not pile on the flesh golem. It was just a hit and run. But then when he stood firm, I was like, oh man, I can pile. I can pile yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. Him. Couldn't but believe I, he stood firm. Yeah, but I probably shouldn't have done. I probably should have just stuck my plan of hit and run. Um, to be. Can't believe he gave the three wolf it either. Like that's the sort of thing you should take and punish. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. There you go, he just makes a random foul. I mean, sure, he's got to play, but fucking hell, it's what, two assists on armor nine? Fuck off. <laughs> mm -hmm. right.
I mean, got the own surf now on the edgy white. Bit of a hassle to get it though. So much of hassle, better off just banging people down elsewhere. I wasn't really getting through. And yeah, look, Jimmy thought out the turn, thought out the consequence of staying, consequence of not dodging, consequence of not standing up. And so if he's, if he's happy with the rationale, you, you can't really fault it. And he's right. Uh, a blitz on the fella had him surfed by a wolf. Uh, sorry, the blitz on the palmer had him surfed by the wolf. Absolutely. And now down two with no palmer for his offensive drive. Say down three, even it's a disastrous position. It is Pedro Jack. <laughs> Sigh of relief, Ducky Pagoa doesn't KO himself. Yeah, but no, look, down three, that's uh, disastrous. Might even be looking to score, you know, whenever you can at this point. Uh, a prolonged offense isn't going to last. And even scoring whenever you can might be tough. The Wolves will catch him. Ghoul uh, is fast enough. The Mighty Blow and Foul on the Four Strength Wolf, not getting a, a, a desirable result, it's a bit sad. Making one Ds for no reason. It's times like this that you really feel bad. And it seems to be tying up his own fleshies. It's times like this you really feel bad, isn't it? He moves in the assist yep. after he's made a one dice block, yep. and I'm okay. I'm not losing yet, but it's a fucking horrible, horrible drive, isn't it? Holy shit! It, it is horrible. Nightmare of a it drive. Might, it might I think it might have been worth. Oh my god! Good. It might have been worth scoring whatever, just to get your men back. Oh, good. God, punish for a random fucking GFI. One of these guys who I must, I must mark the ball at every opportunity. One of those guys. <laughs> Holy shit. Potato. Oh, and that's the other thing too. Like scoring early, you say, great. I score early, I get three men back. Uh -huh. I have my full team of 11. But it's against a team with a 4 strength and an AG5 Wolf and an AG4 White. Scoring in 4 isn't hard for this Necro team. But at the same time, being up 3 men, it's going to be really tough to score. It. One of the GFIs will be worth it. They would, or they would not be. Oh boy. It'd be good if he doesn't get sent off as the. Good.
might be worth a single GFI. But at the same time, you don't be down to run one rear roll on to stall your opponent's defense. What would the GFI really stop? It'd stop everything. Nice. Uh, I mean, Flesh, you still freeze the the zombie. But it'll be the double GFI and a weak recovery, or the dodge from the white. And that's only for a one dice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look, um, I, I really don't hate marking it. If you can mark it without rolling D6, it's worth it. Uh, on a team with, you know, a G3, it usually dictates the blitz. Even on a against an elf team, people will look to block free their ball carry. And if you can control their blitz, it's not a bad idea. Oh man, was that a vanity reroll to stop the edge of fire from being to one and thirty-six dodge? Oh man, is this a red dust block? Oh man, he's not even not even hitting the ball. That's bizarre. And that's why two heads is such a great pickup. Shorthand's two heads beats Shorthand's extra arms for this exact reason. And for me, this is the worst habit of a ball. Fouls are plenty, really nilly. Ah, oh, the coach with the bribe. I mean, a full strength uh, Lodge Wolf. It is a scary target for a team with only one tackle that's currently not on the field. Whereas just an extra guard warrior, not, not really a big deal. Don't really need to risk losing a three-man advantage. But I think he just does it because it's available. And best of all, with seven movement, able to blitz in on a push two plus out to score. Oh, man. Is he? No. Yeah, it looks sad times in gym town. Definitely want that call on the back. Oh man, remember what Shawnee said about the bribe, uh, the babe? Oh, praise nothing. Holy shit. That match for has got the four anyway. But look at that, picking up a babe, a huge uh, sigh of relief. And it is Carlo, it absolutely is. But I mean, the Necro did commit a huge amount to Jim's potato was, I really think it was his only shot at scoring. That'll do, a pig. That'll do.
kind of wish I'd bought the wizard now. <laughs> but mm -hmm. I think I rolled threes for the KOs. I mean, with three KOs, I was happy to have a babe, wasn't I? Well, one was a three. Absolutely. One was a three. Which and look, didn't even matter, but... if you're winning games, you're getting concedes, and you've got an extra money in the bank, rather than just burning it every time, maybe it is worth just buying the wizard and saying, look, if I, if I get deaths, you know, bad luck. Yeah. It was just in the in, for the need to have to win every match. Yeah, yeah, maybe I should have bought the wizard. Especially with him having Blodge, isn't it? It's, Blodge is so good and Agility 5. Maybe I should yeah. have gone for the wizard. But never mind. Well, if the Agility 5 caught the high kick, who would have thought? Uh, but look, the Necro coach has been doing some dodgy plays, like the crazy Wondies. Oh, Wrestle paying dividends. And odd stuff, like giving a free block on the AG5 Wolf, and then just hoping he doesn't get powered and killed. So maybe he'll do something dumb on offense. One can hope. Jim seems to have a nice trap too with the uh, subsequent guards. And he seems like the type that would do it. He'll make a two into a one. And, and not get punished. He doesn't fill in with fucking knockout, does he, the bastard? That looked pretty straightforward so far. Good. Necro needlessly down a man now. Loving that Yahtzee. No poop left. No one will ever play Bretts. You'd have to be out of your mind. Hey, look, I, I think it's Steve Palm on the Ghoul. Make a strong screen and hope for something stupid. Oh my god. A frenzy was to control the sideline and uh, threaten the bull surf on pushes. Would have liked it, TBH. I think also it might be worth having disturbing presence uh, centrally. And with eight move walls, you can still go either way, so projecting on both left and right side is a good idea. Um, yeah, but having disturbing presence pairs covering three squares from the sideline just makes any sort of handoff shenanigans. <sighs> good, good, he deserves that for the pointless GFI. 
point is... Well, he could have just blitzed this way, couldn't he? He pushed him to there. What a what a crazy GFI X running all the way around there. Because he's going to push him there. He could have pushed him from there. Good Needless that he used the to. Yeah, loved, absolutely. I would have loved him to have just failed into death. That's what he deserved. <laughs> Glad that he made that double GFI foul into finished was good, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I guess he's going to foul Coming out of this. Shit. Scheiße. Scheiße. So a dodge and a GFI to hit him. Oh, well. Oh, shit, he had wrestle. Oh, well, fuck it. That, that that pays. That's me getting distracted by talking again. Oh well, got to turn over anyway. Right, time to pay attention. Day of the Americans make GFIs. Oh boy. Fingers crossed. Yeah, he's taking a short flash. Good old uh, Shawnee. I wonder if he's uh, encountered people with marijuana at GX Uni. If he is partaking in the blazing. See yeah, the two heads, short hands guy to react to the ball. Nothing else matters too much. If the G dodge GFI fails, it's uh, all over. And he's had his AG4 white. Hasn't moved since the start of the drive. Ready for bed, that's all. After this match, I'll definitely sleep in my gym. Oh, baby. Can't. Feels bad, bad. <sighs> Yeah, well, look, it, it just, you know, doing dodges and double GFIs is pretty crazy. Oh, man. Quad Skulls would have been nice, just quietly. Oh, man, with the real gone, if he makes any other block, he's absolutely mad and run to bed. Oh, man, not going to be. Yes, look, got banged on. Random Kaz happened. Rephrase, random KOs happened. Uh, then Ty Stream just got early, which I think was right. And yeah, look, not hard for AG5 Necros. Wolves to score quickly. Whew.
<laughs> oh man. Some kind of a uh, bait setup. So that when Jim bags down the LOS, if he goes to Blizzard Guard uh, Rota, as long as he gets gang fouled. Uh, never a riot. Do you know what's awful? I forgot I had a movement seven fucking beast man. I could have actually set up for the one turn, but I was just thinking, you know, I wanted to get mighty blow hits and dirty player foul in, and that's all I was thinking. But I actually, with this setup, I could have totally gone for the one turn, couldn't I? It was free. Well, we back, you could have. And then if I had set that up, he would have just got perfect defense anyway. What a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Also, no throw a rock pig is best player that he could have put on the bench. defense gives you an extra block. Unbelievable. Punish, not as much as he should have been. <laughs> Gives away an edgy wall. <laughs> an edgy wall to white. Ah, uh, you know, I'm getting so tired. What is this? Aha, uh -huh, that zombie screen, it's all the turn eight. <laughs> Yay! Good. Good, some actual justice. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I got sent off, but what a fucking derp, just just sacrificing a blodge ghoul for no fucking reason. Or a perfect defense, well played, buddy. I did say that. Perfect what? defense, have an extra block. Yeah, perfect. and and KO is white. I mean, perfect would have been his white dead and his ghoul dead. That would have been what he deserved, and no send off. But, oh shit, yeah. I forgot to move him first, fuck. Never mind. So I, I should have been punished there, I guess. For oh, fucking hell, unbelievable, unbelievable that he did that with perfect defense. Yep.
All right, as I'm about to fall asleep. <laughs> Anyone heard of the following TV shows uh, that came out recently, and are they good? One is called Beyond, and one is called Ransom. Also, season four Sherlock came out today, the BBC Sherlock. And uh, it was pretty dull. Didn't really like it. But nevertheless, it is out. And I mean, I liked the previous seasons, but this episode in particular felt a bit uh, boring. Oh, baby. Not an elf, so not able to uh, really. Yeah, me too. Like, uh, I think I fell asleep halfway through, or got bored halfway through yesterday. Yeah. Also, John's wife. I don't like her as a character. Like, they tried to make her interesting, and in that she's like a ninja assassin, mob person, and then, you know, there's a twist. You know, the unsuspecting wife being a uh, person of interest. But I, I wish that had been finished as dealing with her shenanigans, for whatever reason, just doesn't seem very interesting anymore. Yeah, exactly, Scotty. So yeah, they, they got the thumb drive, and the dude wanted to kill her. Yeah, I was just like, well, no one really gives a shit. She really that foolish, I think, some guy from 10 years ago? Even gives a shit anymore. And hey, could you really be that close and, you know, a family like bond with someone who you've got blackmail dirt over so they can't ever betray you? That's not really how a family bond works. You're not you're not trusting your family members because you can blackmail the fuck out of them. Isn't protecting the ball. Has a has a backfield rotter, a uh, zombie for that purpose. <laughs> ah, as are on. I'd just rather not talk to him. So good this year. Me nan sent me uh, a card in the mail with 50 bucks in it. And then her sister, you know, my great aunt, uh, gave me about five bucks worth of scratch -its. And I looked uh, for Christmas and saw they had emailed me. And I just haven't replied. And then I saw about two or three emails inviting me to do Christmas stuff. And uh, it'd be like an hour drive. And uh, didn't reply <laughs> and uh, so I haven't had to do anything it's probably one of the best Christmases I've ever had got to play GTA with Jim Yeah, staying fantastic. You know, whenever I've got an Agi 5 guy, he never picks up the ball. So I have to get him short hands as well. This wolf has been fairly well behaved. Didn't go down after six dice. And picks up the ball every time. What more do you want? Bit unsure himself after making a bunch of LOS blocks. Has three men somewhere near the ball. It's not really a, uh, a notable defense.
Oh man, could surf a, uh, a zombie. And while you might think, oh, a zombie not really worth it. Outside of a pom blitz on someone, not really doing too much else. Yeah, she's looking to bank people down. Secure tempo. And... That's really it. I think Jim needs to spend 10 seconds more. And the order. I'd like to see people standing up before making block. Seems to be a bit, a bit aggressive with a bunch of bases. Oh, never lucky. Oh, grades at one and nine. For shame. Has been fairly abysmal this game. Um, now defense is fine. Just Chim making the read that if he scores early, he's not too bothered. Perhaps would probably prefer to stop him. But uh, yeah, if he's got three men sort of not protecting the ball and he's his best three guys, maybe not too concerned about an early score. Yeah, true color. Mind having the frenzy maneuver free and dead little rod of time of a pommer and a uh, guard warrior. And yeah, look, eight move bodge is going to be hard to deal with. Um, yeah, look, it could get a two dollar on the ball pretty easily with a. Well, maybe not easily. Oh, it's actually a rod that's tagging the pommer and not as. Oh, and the dirty player stood up, so no. It is not easy. Oh man, getting tired, saying dumb things.
sorry, uh, for Jam Toast, the long and short of it was Jim's offense. He got three KOs pretty early in a fairly unlucky manner. And the Necro gave a free block on his AG5 Lodge Wolf for absolutely no reason. Parker next to a Chaos Warrior for no reason. And by Chaos Warrior, I mean Nova Warrior. And uh, so Jim blocked it and then dodged and pommed it and failed and re rolled the fail and, and failed that. And then dodged out and failed and KO'd himself. So he scored early to reset the drive to get his three KOs back as he otherwise wasn't scoring. And the Necro scored because Jim couldn't make a 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus to hit him. And. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And look at power of four strength frenzy prevents a sideline screen. But those dodges were pretty important. Uh, sort of the utility aspect of it, I, I like. If I've, so for example, for a Dark Oak Blitzer, let's say that you've got Blodge on all your Blitzers, one's Sidestep Diving Tackle, one's Mighty Blood Pylon, one's Blodge Step Guard. Uh, your third one, probably Tackle in there somewhere too. Once you've got the sort of core skills where you've got them doing what they want, you get Jump Up. It's sort of in that tier, is when I pick up Dauntless. Because a lot of these four strength teams, like that's what I, what I mentioned about uh, Joker's match. Often he was not blitzing a three strength guy. Before he makes these GFI, so I guess he's not going to try to score. Or he's, or he's fucking crazy, one of the two. Do I, I mean, this, that's a fair enough blitz, isn't it? Can't blame him for that first. Cool. Cheeky regen. That one Good. dice was horrific, wasn't it? I mean, that was just horrific. No excuse for that. Oh, man. I like how he makes one blitz with Claw and gets a Kaz as well after he fucking just let me smash <laughs> his werewolves to pieces last drive. <laughs> let me knock the fuck out of his werewolves and I did nothing. And then... Just there you go. One hit on... One hit on... One dodge fail from Mashfagors. KO'd. One block on Mashfagors. Killed. <laughs> Ridiculous. The good news is he's somewhat messing up this clear. Huh, I wonder if there's a way to push the Mighty Glow Warrior onto the wolf. Jim usually swats these things right away. I'm far too tired. Ah, good work, Jim. Spot it right away. I see it now. <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, powers feel pretty bad. And you, you just got to take it, unfortunately. But for those who didn't see it, uh, a portion on that white pushes the warrior into the white square, the new white square. And 
It would have been hunky dory. I wonder if that uh, rudder block could have pushed horizontally so that the white block on the warrior on a pull could only push adjacent to the carrying the ball. It doesn't really matter, AG5 blodge. That's also something to consider. So not only did Jim get the see the fancy train that I definitely knew. Wow, one in nine dodges will in Unbelievable. Yeah, this is the sort of blood bowl that really grinds me. Super greedy play. I like guess it's, it's not bad, a one in nine dodge. But it's just not something you should do so early in your turn with your ball not safe. And it makes me sad when that sort of stuff works. Isn't punished. And look, once or twice you can maybe tolerate it. Because it's super greedy. But for it to happen so frequently. A bit of a rustle. I just noticed that the, the wolf carries the ball with only one hand. That's not very safe. You teach football players to carry the ball with two. So as a result, I reckon all character models should only hold the ball with one hand. And once they get short hands, they carry the ball with two hands. Think about how good that would be. So plays this turn. Hmm. I mean, normally you'd say, oh, you know, block away a corner, and but you don't really get in the way of an AG5 wolf. Look, it is only turn 12, and this guy probably wants to still like the win. I know I would. Oh boy. Best for Gauze, letting everyone down. It's a good position for Best of Gauze too, so yeah, what I was about to say was... Uh, turn 12, let's pretend that you were this guy. You wouldn't really want to score on turn 12. You'd keep on playing silly buggers and moving 8 squares and running away. I mean, you do it in a manner that didn't let your ball carry even chance to get hit. But, yeah, the, the concept's fine. So if that is your goal, what would you do? It would be look for serfs. So I think Estragal's in a good spot to stop the four-strength wolf from doing another stupid dodge into something. But as a necro coach, I'd be happy retreating and getting a surf on a
Oh man, I'd be nice to see some foul appearances happening. <gasps> oh, get banged on. What the fuck? Oh! Fuck this oh my game. God. How bad can some people be? And just. <laughs> Why can't they be punished? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> What was that about? Minus 2D without know. block. Holy shit balls. Is there no justice? None. <laughs> then he gets a cast from his 2D. <laughs> oh man. Fucked. If he scores this town, I'll just go to bedroom. Just quiet there. Fair enough. Looks like he's gonna because he's going for the blitz here. I think he could have changed his move forward to not GFI, but naturally didn't. No, naturally just decided to minus two dice without block first. Yep. Not even trying to get the ball safe. No, he'll foul on it. Wow. It's a hard game sometimes, isn't it? Blood ball, holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, so the best for goals to get the two. And zombie comes across. Officer gets in the way, and by zombie I mean rotter. DP maybe assists in the block on the flesh golem. I mean, having a block on the ball is nice. Um, having him not recover it with all the with all this agility around, and certainly at least if he then recovers it with the agility, not getting safe. So I'd, I'd like to see people getting banged down. Nice. That's assisting too. Because I'm tired as fuck, the play I imagined was less good than that. This allows the guard guy to come up and get the frenzy assist on the zombie, which makes, you know, somewhat of a box, which really does reduce his play to a potato. Uh, another subtlety is Jim's action. Uh, when best to figure blitzes on a 1 in 9. The wolf at least has to make two dodges because of the zombie's position. There's no... well, there's, there's always the wolf. But I like that square. Now that lemma be whether you re-roll it on. So now the just decisions whether to re-roll this, isn't it? If it's a, if it's not a pow, that's the big question. Yeah. Because if it's not a pow, he just sidesteps to here, two plus two plus, two plus two plus with a re-roll, and then I've got no re-rolls for scoring three. Like if I re-roll it and I don't pow him, yeah, then it's it's basically game over, isn't it? But then and then I lose instead of draw. So I think I've got to not re-roll it. Oh, I'm too tired to give positive to give any sort of realistic opinion, but it sounds like good rationale. Yeah, I think I've got I've got to hope for a draw. I've, I've got it. If I get the power, I can try to win, and if I don't get the power, I just hope to draw. <laughs> because I don't get the power. That's actually better though. At least <laughs> I don't push him. Yeah. Better than a push. So I definitely not classic gem. Draw. Thinking he can power people. Yeah. <laughs> it, it rationalizes my comment on the down zombie, though. Yes, yeah, that was why I did that, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, the little sounds. subtleties of blood people don't know this. Mm, very good, very good. Oh, one dice block again, random, random, oh, never punished, never. Oh punished. man, never fucking. How good would it be if he got punished? Oh, it'd be the best. Instead, he gets a removal. <laughs> this is Blood Bowl. What a stupid this game. is Blood Bowl 101, isn't it? Holy fuck. That'll do, big. That'll do. Pushes are nice. Oh my god. I, I don't think I don't think I can ever bother. What's the point? No we're all still making one deals. Absolute madman. Oh man, there could be some cheeky shit here from Jim. So like, guy guy goes once uh, middle guy guy goes once by northeast uh, to blitz to blitz the wolf, and then that also then applies the assist for the frenzy, uh, and then based on where the wolf goes, the frenzy might be able to second time with the only valid squares being adjacent the second guy with guy uh, to allow six dice in the ball, uh, three dice in the ball, four dice on the ball from two blocks. That's it. So that that, that that in the ten seconds is is what. I... Uh, ultimately, can't really make it a three dice. Oh man, what a good play. Oh man, what a madman sidestep direction. Sidesteps into the block for free. Yeah, feels bad, man. Then feels bad, man. But yeah, now where we did cover the advantages of uh, definitely not sidestep first. Uh, so swap sidestep and dodge, and then sidestep for leap. But look, yeah, now two plus two plus, and he's uh, home and hose. Yeah, I had to reroll it like that the, time, didn't I? Because it is just a 2 plus yeah. 2 plus so. See, 10th 2 to block on that wolf, I think. I don't yeah. think it's ever been blocked down. I should have got the wizard, shouldn't I? I should have got the wizard. Nah. 
should have known that my opponent having a blodger would be undefeatable. <laughs> <laughs> Despite his best attempts to fucking throw the game away with rando one in nines all the fucking time. Fucking minus two dice blocks without block. One dice blocks. Like as he's first action. Yeah. I think it was at least three one dice first action, one red dice first action. Yeah. And at least two one in nine first action. I'm, I'm done. Yeah. He's just done Absolutely everything disgusting. he could. He's done everything he could to lose this game. Yeah. And it's just. It's maximum grade two. And when someone does like a really, really good play, fucking punished. Yeah. Finally. Yeah, finally. But he, he, he knocked out my canoring threat. And it's not even easy for me to get to four dice on him, is it? He decides to... Well, I can't even get two dice on him now. I can block him for... Oh, God. It's horrible. No, I'm hitting the rotter, the frenzy guy, doing things, frees up your guard guy on the right. Yeah, I think he's got to do this first. To get... To get... Cancel that assist, then he could have blocked, then I could have... Blocked him. Why can't you just roll a push for once? Do you know how many one in nines you rolled? No, oh, I and powered him. You got blocked. I powered him. Holy shit. I fucking powered him. Holy shit. Call the cops. Unbelievable, Jeff. Into an AV break. Into this guy having to fucking blitz to glory as a scoring threat. Can this guy score? No. So... All right, that's not ideal. He's got dodge, piece of shit. What do I do? Both down, one, two, three, four, five. Now I've got to be a canoring threat, haven't I? That's my only chance. True. I can't believe he knocked out Best Fagos, who was there as the cheeky canoring threat, to be honest. Because if he hadn't, if he hadn't cast him there, well, KO'd him, he's just two pluses away, isn't he? A strength four receiver. But never mind. GG. Wow, feels bad. It was a BG. It wasn't GG, it was BG. <laughs> BBG. But deserved, because at the end of the BBG day, I should, have, I should have drawn last S match. I lost it, so... C. MF. So, so you know it's fair C. enough. It's fair enough. I, di I didn't deserve to have a So. Oh man, is that a Shawnee with a top hat? Holy shit. Yeah, I can't believe he didn't just two plus away at any point. <laughs> um, a draw is not the end of the world, but it's pretty bad, Harry Coo. It's pretty bad. Um, I'd say it's it's I you know it's going to be another what another how come, three or four. How come Shawnee's is a global? Or oh, does everyone have hats now? What the fuck? <laughs> Just top hat's a global one, isn't it? Another red dice. Is it top hat then the most? Oh man, nice meme. <laughs> right. Obviously, I'm going to foul this guy. He's even next to my dirty player. Um. Yeah, I'm not even going to make any blocks. Well, look, it didn't lose, so you got that going for you, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah, it could have been worse. Oh it? man, do it. Oh shit! I'm going to make it two plus. It's worth it though. Worth it for the extra assist. Made it because they've screwed in turn. Oh man, if you get a death, I will... I will... touch myself and run about you. <laughs> Dead! I oh, regen! Oh. Shit! <laughs> the lucky cunt! <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh. Shame. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
man. Could you imagine the death on turn 16? Yeah, I'm amazed I made the 2 plus 2, yeah. Fucking hell, that would have been unbelievable. He's still muted here. That would have been unbelievable. Oh, am I still muted on... Oh, sorry, oh, sorry, I meant to unmute. Yeah. And on ones and scores, that was probably fair. Because I rolled loads yeah, of powers on, like... I probably roll loads of powers on, like, you know, zombie hits and stuff. But, god damn, that fucking invincible ball crew. It was actually five. Or, or, like, all he needed to do was just two plus away at any point, and he just refused to. <laughs> Instead, making minus two DBs and not even getting punished. Exactly. And, like, not risking the dodge with the edgy five, but risks the dodge with the edgy three. <laughs> yeah. Like, regularly. Yeah. So at least it got punished a bit in the end with that with that one failing, finally failing a one in nine into an AV break, removing the scoring threat. Um, but wow, it was a hard. That was a hard one to take, definitely. Um, it's these kind of games that make me want to stop playing for the day as well. In fact, I'm having my dinner soon, so um, right twenty one seven two is looking bad now because that's twenty four one five, isn't it? Um, look at five more wins on the spin would would get me high enough, I think. But you know, it is look. It's fair enough because it's already a, it's already a tainted record, isn't it? So even if I do qualify, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna brag or say I deserve it in any way, shape, or form because it should definitely be twenty wins and either eight draws or three losses. But thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Stay fantastic and stay fantastic. <laughs>